Hello and welcome to MB Tech. My name is Matt Bingham and tonight we'll be talking about the IPA server, setting up one of these. Uh, this will actually be used for multiple things. It'll actually be your main DNS server. It'll also be used as um, your certificate. Uh, it'll also be, as I mentioned, DNS, LDAP, uh, multiple uh, other things that it can do and, and be part of. Um, so let's go into it and let's start this up. Um, I've created a CentOS 7 minimal install just like all the other previous ones that I've done and from there we'll actually install the software and then we'll configure it and then we'll actually configure a client as well to access uh, the IPA server so you can see how that works and uh, do that. What's nice is it actually gives it a nice GUI interface or web GUI interface, not actual GUI interface, but a web GUI interface and you can manage the systems, you can add things to a DNS server, remove things from a DNS server and stuff like that. So let's get into it. Um, first of all, we're going to need to log into the server and the name is IPA server one I'm gonna zoom in here real quick make it a little bit larger uh, we'll do a clear and what you need to do is yum install the ipa.server and ipa.server dns since you want to have both uh, these are already installed on my system if they aren't installed um, it would install these systems um, so we should be good for this part of it uh, next thing we need to do is make sure our dns servers um, since this is going to be a DNS server we want to make sure that we don't have any uh, in here you know no forwarding no google no 8.8.8 .8 .8, nothing in here because it's going to actually check to see if that domain actually exists so being lab.local uh, i don't want it doing any searches i don't want it finding my other dns servers i actually got set up on this um, so we want to make sure resolve conf is empty and from there we're actually going to uh, do the uh, install so it's ipa uh, server install and it'll go through and this is what I mentioned what it'll actually be doing it'll be doing the uh, it'll configure standalone CA uh, management dog tag it'll do the NTP uh, instance of a directory server which is basically LDAP uh, Kerberos sign in and Apache which is the web server unit user interface and uh, the KDC as well uh, so it says do you want to configure integrated DNS bind and the answer there's gonna be yes uh, server host name is IPA server at binglab.local that's fine our uh, domain name is binglab.local, which is basically just extract the name of your server and what's after that uh, is the uh, domain name. Uh, this needs to be, the realm is always going to be in capitals. Um, this has caught me up in multiple things like setting up a winbind uh, connection to Active Directory and all sorts of stuff. you got to remember that the realm name is going to be all in caps. And it wants to know password for the directory manager. Put in a password you can remember and IPA admin administrator as well. Okay, right now it's actually checking the DNS domain to see if it exists. Since we removed all the DNS information, it should not pick up anything and it will create it. And it says, do you want to configure DNS forwarders? Say yes to that. Say no to that. It wants to know an IP address. So we'll do 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. um, another one, no. So we'll say skip. Do you want to search for missing reverse zones? We'll say yes. Okay. So it gives us the information here that's going to be our IP master server. Um, it'll be configured with that IP address 1011.20, um, domain name, and bind. DNS server will be configured to serve IPA domain and the forwarders are the Google which is 8.8.8.8 .8 and forward policy is only um, right currently now there's no reverse zone so we'll continue to figure the system with these values we're gonna say yes setting up NTP daemon
Okay, it says that the uh, setup has been completed and that the uh, next step is you must make sure that these ports are open. Um, so you can make sure those ports are open on your uh, box as well as uh, UDB ports. And you can obtain a Kerberos ticket by doing the Knit admin. This ticket will allow you to use the IPA tools, IPA user add, and the web user interface. Um, so we're going to do what it says. We're just going to have to do a Knit admin. Password. This password created earlier. And that's that's been created. Um, we can actually do a K list. And we can see that, you know, there's the start, expires, and the service for what it's for. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to do a IPA control status. And that will just give us a status of the server itself. Um, so we can see that everything, you know, we've got directory services running, kadmin, named, HTTP server, everything looks like it's running, and everything looks like it's good. So now that we, we have that, if we look up the top here um, we should be able to now go to this IP address and get to the server that we need to get to okay so it's not secure we'll hit advance there add exception It may try to flip this to the fully qualified domain name. If it does, then we will add that to our local Etsy host file. But we'll see what happens here. Yep, it's looking it up. So it's trying to do the fully qualified. So that's not a big deal. We'll, we'll, we'll fix that. And uh, what we'll do here is we can either probably, let me see. Check my system cat etsy.resolve. And I've got name server 127, so well, let's try something here. server 10.11.1.20 um, search local domain and I have a read only file because I am not at root so let me get out of here real quick do a quick sudo su so that I can change that file Let's do a Vim this time. Works a little bit better on Ubuntu. Um, do nano instead. Name server 10.11.1.20 and search local domain. And then we're just going to put in here Bing Lab local. We'll see if this fixes it. May it may not. I'll try pinging it as well. So ping. IPA server. seem like it likes it all right so let's do a cheat on our local here let's see host and we'll put in here 10.11.1.20 and this is going to be ipa server one bing lab local I 
settings from it now, so maybe it will work now. Refresh. Advanced. Okay, now we're in the uh, IPA, free IPA admin console. So we do admin and password that we set up for that. And now we're in. So here you get a list of your active users, stage users, and preserved users. So if someone were to leave the company, you can put them in the preserved users. Stage users can be new users that aren't quite active yet. <clears throat> and here's where you got your host. Host is going to be the server itself. Once we add a client, the client will be listed there as well. You can see services. We've got DNS, uh, stuff like that. So we actually go to the, like the principal name, and we can see there's uh, the DNS services. you got your groups. ID views, um, network services, it says default, IPA. So here, this would be our DNS zone, so we can actually create records for our uh, server. So, um, for instance, uh, here's the zone, and here's the ones that are already created. There's the IPA server. So we're actually going to add one. And we are going to add, record name is going to be just server1. Going to be at a it's going to be 10.11.1.160 and we are going to create a reverse as well and we're going to click add cannot create reverse all names servers failed to answer query dns i'll say okay to that so server one seems to be there and we seem to be good there so there is the setup of the IPA server. <clears throat> Next video, we'll be adding a client to this server, and then uh, we'll, we'll go from there after that. That's completed. Um, so thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, come back with comments, what you'd like me to cover more, get into more depth, whatever you'd like me to cover. I'll try to uh, work, start working on some more videos for stuff that you guys want. Appreciate it, and thanks a lot.